Hello and welcome to another video and today we are flying the Airbus A330 900 Neo which can cover up to 7200 nautical miles and was designed to go a long distance. But today we are going on a short 200 mile flight from one paradise island to another on the world's shortest A330 Neo flight. So please join me on another aviation adventure. Guys, a beautiful good morning from the small little paradise island of Mauritius. And you see the airport in the background. And today I'm going on the shortest commercial Airbus 8030 900 Neo flight in the world. So join me on another trip from one paradise island to another. Mauritius Airport handles over 4 million passengers a year, which are mostly visiting for their honeymoons. But the island also has a very modern airline, Air Mauritius, with one of the youngest and most modern fleets in the world, hey, morning. consisting of two Airbus A330neos as well as four Airbus A350s. Thank you so much. The operate I, flies bye bye. to Europe, Australia, Asia, and Africa. So it's only 6 a.m. in the morning, so uh, having my well-deserved coffee, and the flight is very short, the shortest in the world and they don't sell business class flights in there, but if you pay them an extra $10, uh, not under the table, um, <laughs> you can upgrade to business. Like you won't get dedicated business class service or lounge access, but you get to sit in the front. Not too bad, right? So why not? So I'm all checked in for the shortest flight in the world, the shortest 330 Neo flight in the world. And I'm going to Reunion because tomorrow I'll be taking one of the longest flights in the world, the longest Airbus A220 flight from Reunion to Chennai, over six hours. And the plane in question is just right there. Air Astral getting ready for a short hop back to Reunion. And it was then finally time to board this rather unique and short hop to the neighboring island of Reunion on an Airbus A330-900 Neo. Hey. 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 The name is here. Yes, I'm just <laughs> And here we are, Hi, welcome we? on board the business class cabin of good, Air good. Mauritius, featuring 28 seats in a staggered 1 2 1 configuration. Every seat features direct aisle access and goes completely flat. Yeah, yeah all good, all good. <laughs> no, yeah, yesterday, yesterday, okay. so. Directly? last Yeah, yesterday, okay. last night, and then and now I'm going. Uh, Air Belgium. Oh. And now I'm going to uh, Reunion and tomorrow to India. And then back to Sri Lanka. That's where I live. <laughs> in Sri Lanka? Yeah, I live in Sri Lanka. So I'm on my, on my way home. Yeah, yeah. So trying to get home quick. <laughs> How long have you been staying in Sri Lanka? Oh, it's been two years now. I've been living there for two years. Yeah, okay. it's and lovely. What can I know what you do? I picked it as my base. Yeah. Okay. Nice island life. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. I've I never like been there. Uh, it's a lovely, it's a lovely country. Yes. So guys, and here we are. Welcome on board to Emirates Airbus 8030-900 Neo. And fun fact, my first flight ever on this type, uh, the Neo, was on Air Mauritius in 2019 from London to here. Uh, quite some time ago, but from what I remember, it was a beautiful flight. Air Mauritius is actually a pretty decent airline and uh, flown them on the 350 a couple of times to Johannesburg or to Paris and uh, now also on that Neo. Always a really lovely crew, great hard product as you can see um, yourself and uh, also the catering was always um, spot on and now yeah I don't think there's much of a service review on this flight since it's very very short uh, but yeah still let me give you a quick little seat tour. 
When flying Air Mauritius Business Class, you should try to score yourself a seat closer to the window for enhanced privacy, because that will make a huge difference on your flight. But each seat features a personal entertainment screen with plenty of movies to choose from. The plane is also Wi-Fi equipped in case you want to stay connected with your friends and family. You get plenty of storage space, a universal power outlet, as well as a USB slot to charge your personal devices. Overall, I believe this is a great seat. Can you please take up your position for the safety demonstration video? Thank you. Welcome on board. At Air Mauritius, your safety is our topmost priority. When the sign is on, return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. So we're literally just climbing out of Mauritius and look at those views. Like Mauritius is an absolute paradise island. I've been here twice before for a little longer on this trip I was literally just staying for 24 hours and uh, it's really a place worth visiting. Uh, it's more of a honeymoon island. You get a bit of strange looks if you come here as a single man or a single woman. I remember the first time I came here, I stayed at the hotel very near to the airport. I went for dinner and I was sitting down and then a waiter came to me and he was like, no, 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 sir, crew is sitting over there. <laughs> so he thought I was Emirates crew because nobody comes to Mauritius by themselves. So that was uh, the whole story. Uh, quite interesting but if you ever get the chance come to Mauritius a beautiful little place great food great people as well and a nice place to work on your tan and just relax but that being said I've never been to Reunion so it's gonna be my first time and it's technically not a country it's more of like a French overseas territory so uh, yeah let's see what we can expect once on the ground but uh, I know it's a very short flight, but let's go to the loo and give you a review of the loo. So here we are, if you're wondering what the loo looks like on Air Mauritius Day 30 Neo. There we go. And nice and clean, no amenities. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, good Hello morning down. and once again welcome on board this Air Mauritius service to Reunion Island. My name is Ranjay Buloki and I'm your senior flight person on this flight and assisting me today is flight person Shalini Babulal in the economic class. But also the service has started and uh, each passenger gets a juice. I mean, for a 20 minutes flight, not too bad. <laughs> Also quickly checking out the uh, economy class cabin here on this uh, flight. Each seat comes with a personal entertainment screen, as you can see, and a beautiful wing view. However, we just started our descent, so let me head back to my business class seat. If you do, please report to the custom or fitness sanitary inspectors. Deportation of all animals, poultry, and their
Peter Giro seatbelt fasten until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Be careful when opening the oven lockers. You may now make and receive calls as well as use data services. Do keep in touch with us on our website and social media platforms. We thank our Castro Fire members for their continued support. Thank you for choosing Mar a Mauritius and its partners, Air France and Air India. So guys, and here we are. Welcome back to Europe, I should say. Uh, the beautiful little island of Reunion looked very different when we approached uh, into the airport. Uh, very different if you compare it to Mauritius. Mauritius is very laid back, very chilled. Reunion looks very busy. And also saw this beautiful Air Austral 777. Interesting that they operate such big birds. They also operate Dreamliners and 220s. So technically a very modern fleet. And I know so little about this airline, but that's all gonna change tomorrow when I fly their Airbus 220 to Chennai. I was gonna take you through the arrival experience and I'm gonna take you to my hotel and then we're gonna end this very short day today. <laughs> All right, yeah, then okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. So, just cleared immigration, easy peasy, real quick. Also, did you see French B out there, the 350 uh, Dash 1000, one of the few uh, Dash 1000 operators in the world. I think it's only Qatar, Cafe Pacific, and French B, and British Airways. If you know any more, let me know in the comment section below, but I think that's it. Also, cool thing, I don't need to connect to the Wi-Fi because my German SIM card is working here due to the fact that this is French or European Union territory. Easy peasy. Are you free? Huh? Are you free? Hi. So a bit of a challenge to get a taxi because of all the flights were coming in at the same time. So, uh, hopefully I'll get one. Mercure. But okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, Macro, yeah. Hi. Can I check in as well? Hi, welcome. Thank you. So all checked in, let's check out the room. Saw a lot of crew staying here as well. So literally, I got the worst room next to the elevator, facing the other side. <laughs> well, it is what it is. And I have a parking lot view as well. What more can you ask for, right? That's beautiful. So 
I feel so appreciated as a customer. <laughs> All good, it's just one night. She gave me an early check-in, so all good in the hood. It's really hot in here though. Let me switch on the air conditioning. But anyways, apart from this short little fl uh, flight, sweet but short, uh, wasn't much to review, but I think it's still fun to uh, take you guys along on this little aviation adventure. Any of you want to see the longest 220 flight in the world departing tomorrow, you should subscribe right now. If you want to support my work, join my WhatsApp group, get one of those key rings, uh, check out my Patreon, the link is in the description box below. Other than that, I'm gonna grab something to eat now, maybe check out the pool and do some work. And then I'm off to India tomorrow. That's it, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll be off to a safe trip.